Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the shadow foundation and deep foundation. These two are the main types of the foundation, while all other type of foundation, for example, isolated cope or column footing, strip footing, pile foundation, these all comes under the category of these two type of foundation. So, what is shadow foundation and why and how it is different from the deep foundation? I will cover this topic in this lecture. So to start with the shallow foundation, there are six main differences between these two types of foundation. So the shallow foundation, the shallow foundation can be defined as this type of foundation is constructed near the surface of the earth. Why? The deep foundation, this type of foundation is constructed at a greater depth below the earth surface. So if I consider that this is in a ground surface, ground level, so the shallow foundation is generally constructed near the surface. This is a surface and these are constructed generally at the surface or near the surface or at a certain depth below the surface but not too much. While the deep foundation, the deep, this type of foundation is constructed at a greater depth. It means that the depth of the foundation is too much below the ground level or below the surface of the earth. So the, the foundation which is too much in depth below the ground level is called as the deep foundation while the shallow foundation are constructed near the surface or at a smaller depth below the ground level or below the surface this is the main difference between the shallow and the deep foundation the other difference is the depth of shallow foundation is less than the width if i consider this is the ground level again and this in a footing or foundation we constructed so and shallow foundation, the width or breadth of this foundation will be greater than this depth of foundation. So width B should be greater than the width of than the depth of the foundation. And this foundation is known as the shallow foundation. Generally, the width is smaller than the depth of the foundation in case of the shallow foundation. While in case of the deep foundation, the depth is at least three times more than the width. So if I consider this in ground level, and this foundation, so the depth, you see here there is the depth of foundation D and this is width which is B. So depth is at least greater than the three times of the width of the foundation. If this category is fulfilled, then we call this the foundation as the deep foundation if the depth is three times more than the width of its uh, width dimension, then it is uh, coming under the category of deep foundation. The third difference is the shell foundation is generally cheaper because the depth is small and there is no such boring inside the earth while it is expensive because too much manpower is needed and also the machinery is expensive in case of the deep foundation because you have to make bores and you have to make piles which are greater depth than the uh, shell foundation so this one is expensive while this is a cheaper foundation the four differences this is easier to construct so less machinery, less manpower and easy to construct. While this, in this case the construction power is more complex because first you have to bore, make pores and then make the reinforcement there and then put, pour the concrete. So the construction process is quite complex in case of the deep foundation. The load transfer, the fifth one is the load transfer by end bearing. Because you are relying on the, only this soil below the uh, foundation so the whole load transfer will be by in bearing phenomena while in case of the deep foundation the load transfer by in bearing and skin friction the skin friction it means the friction forces between the soil and pile is also responsible for taking the load so there are two mechanisms for transferring the load in case of deep foundation one is the in bearing either at the bottom of the foundation the load is taken i are either by the skin friction while in case of the shell foundation, the load is only transferred by the end bearing. It means that this is the end of the foundation, so the whole load is taken here. While in this case, the skin friction, it is also taken by this by this end, end bearing and also by this friction forces between the soil and the pile. So there are two types of mechanism for load transfer in case of the deep foundation. The main types of the shell foundation are the isolated footing, the straight footing, the made footing, which is a huge type of footing which is also expensive type of shallow foundation but it is coming under the category of shallow foundation 
which is called the mid footing and also the combined footing. Um, we also call sometimes the trapezoidal footing, but these are the important types of the footing, shell foundation. Now, in case of the deep foundation, the pile foundation is the most important one, which is quite expensive foundation in case of the deep foundation and the pier foundation and the castings, etc. So these are the type of deep foundation. So these were the main differences which are um, which differentiate the shell foundation from the deep foundation. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.